What's up everyone, this is Mike from iGadgetsWorld and in today's video we're going to be doing this blooming test on the brand new Samsung QLED TV. This is not just the QLED TV, it's the Neo QLED TV. So this one is based on the mini LEDs and this model is called QN90A. Before we get into the video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video because that's the only way I can be successful on YouTube with your help. So guys, thank you and really appreciate making me reach 13,000 subscribers. All right, so this video, I just wanted to let you know, guys, first that I'm going to be turning off all the lights. It's going to be totally dark room, and this test is going to be aggressive test because I'm downloading the 4K HDR video demos from the internet, and that's what all I have in here in the USB because I don't like to do these tests from the YouTube videos because most of the YouTube videos are compressed, so they don't show that, you know, the actual color that was there in the video because that is compressed. So. To avoid any kind of errors, I just downloaded these actual files which are very big in file size and they are HDR videos. So I'm going to be playing these videos in a totally dark room and you're going to be deciding whether you know, you're going to, you like it or not, is it close to OLED or not. For sure it's not going to be as exact as OLED produces the deep blacks, but I have done this test already for myself and I was blown away by the results that this Samsung new model produces. So I'm gonna be doing that for you guys. So stay tuned and enjoy the test and then we'll talk about it in the comment section. All right guys, as you can see that now the, all the lights are off and I'm going to play the very first video which is actually made by LG to show the LED versus OLED. And when they did it, LED was backlit and edge lit but now it has come to a point where it is almost individually lighting it, but not exactly there yet. It's still utilizing a lot of zones. So I'm going to play this video, which was made by LG. On the right side, it shows the LG OLED, how it will show the picture quality on LG OLED. And on the left side, it used to mimic as like, you know, how LED TV will show you the shitty quality, I would say. So they were trying to show you the LED versus OLED. So I'm going to play that video. Just watch yourself. Right. I just I just paused it right here because you can see how it submerges with the dark room here. LG is uh, you know the logo is in white color font. So there is no blooming at all. I mean, if there is some, that is literally almost negligible. You can't even tell unless you go really close to the TV. Um, I'm sure you're not going to be going close to the TV and then watching your TV by like sitting one uh, foot away. I'm sitting about like six feet and on six feet distance or five feet distance, you cannot tell if there is blooming or not. And to be honest, I've been using the LG OLED for last four, four and a half years. And my eyes are so adjusted to OLED that if I look at the quality on LED, I can tell right away that it is not there yet. But right now, I, I'm saying that I've never said that before. I've been an advocate of LG OLED TVs since the beginning. But now I have to accept the fact that the LED is getting where it can grab the OLED by the neck. You know, we have to wait for maybe the micro LEDs when they're gonna come in, it is getting me hyped up for the uh, micro LED because if the mini LED with a whole bunch of zones at the back can do this, I mean, imagine what micro LED, which is gonna be self-lit, it will have its own light, you know, each individual pixel level, what that can do. So this is incredible to be honest. And it's coming from a guy who is fan of uh, LG OLED TVs and Sony OLED or any kind of OLED out there because it's, it's the best thing that you can have in your house, right? When you're watching movies. So Samsung has nailed it here and controlled the blooming. If you're sitting six, five feet away, I mean, right now I can tell there is nothing that I can tell if it is OLED or if it is LED. And I'm just giving you my honest opinion here. Uh, if I, I called it out last year, I had the 8K TV from Samsung and I called it out the worst one of its kind. So. This one right here in terms of picture quality, man, it is amazing. All right, I'm gonna play the video and mostly you can tell if there's blooming or not when you're looking at, um, you know, the white bright light on the TV and next to it is all, uh, you know, the 
black background so right now this is the test for the blooming and you can see that how that white circle is running around the screen and it just looks like the moon in the night you know And I haven't changed any of the settings on the TV. I can show you what picture mode I have. So this one is right now on movie picture mode. In this test, I downloaded from the artings, R-T-I-N-G-S dot com. That website is inc incredible and credible also for all of these tests that they upload on their website. So I have downloaded this video directly, the MP4 file from there. Now I'm going to place something that will that actually blew up blew my mind and that video was this one whenever i bought the lg oled tv i used to play this video to show off i will say and look at that right there i mean this looks insane for the led tv now it has come closed or not at the par I will say because still there's blooming if you go really close I'm telling you guys again if it is one feet or less than one f one foot away then you can tell within two feet maybe max but you're not going to be watching TV like that and that's how it used to be you can tell the blooming from five six feet away that that's how it used to be before but now it is a totally different game right now you can see that on the screen it's just pure, not pure, pure, pure black, but still, it is 99.9%, .9%, I will say, it's just black. Also, there's a scene where there's a... They're playing the chess game, and there's just, you know, this black and white. So you can tell that, you know, whether there is blooming or not, it just looks insane. It just looks right here, yeah. And also there's one more scene. I'm trying to go up there. Yeah, it's right about there. Guys, this kind of picture quality I expected only from OLED TV so far. I never imagined that LED will produce such kind of content. And uh, I am literally sold on this one. I can tell if I want something like this uh, for my movie theater, I'll, I'll go for it. But right now, don't get your hopes so high because we are talking about just the picture quality. There are a lot of other things we have to discuss. So guys, if you really want to know details about the gaming experience on this TV because I haven't come to that point where I have tested my PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X yet. I'm going to be testing that by tomorrow so stay tuned for more videos on this because I'm going to be testing the gaming on this TV because that's a big deal for 2020 and 2021. Everybody wants to play their games on the biggest screen so just stay tuned for that kind of content but here if you're talking about the picture quality man this is insane level. I'm going to play one more video for you guys so you can see how the black looks on this TV. And if there's any blooming, you would tell right away because my ISO on the cell phone is about 80 to 100 because it's totally dark room. So it should reflect what I'm actually looking on the screen with my naked eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead on my Voodoo application and I'm gonna play Mad Max, just the beginning, because you will see what happens there. Because I used to tell whether it's OLED or LED um, easily because the opening scenes are, you know, they're blacks and there are titles on it. So I'm gonna start over this. Look at the Max, Mad Max itself, the poster and everything around it is just deep black.
there's no light bleed whatsoever if there is dark it just goes totally dark because the light control on the back is just amazing because it has way over like 500 dimming or uh, auto dimming zones you can also see right here the charlie Theron and tom hardy the name that's written on it it's just on a pure like black wallpaper so this is what i wanted to show you guys like how it looks All right guys, look at this scene right here. It is pure like contrast and I cannot tell if I'm, if I just walk into the room and this scene is being played, my eyes usually can tell easily if it is OLED or not, but here, literally I'll have to give up. So guys, that's all the analysis from this video today. I just wanted to show you like what I've been seeing on the screen since I opened the box and I started playing the content and I was literally surprised by the quality. So if you want to know more about this stuff and if you want to share any thoughts in the comment section, I'll be willing to reply to all of you guys because that's how it works here. I just want to make sure that I interact with my audience and I'll do that for sure. So just guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video if you liked it, and share it with your friends, with the TV fans. And I'll see you guys in another one. Until then, peace out.